hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this amazing hair butter if you are struggling with hair dryness trust me guys your hair will be super moisturized for days and no single hair strands will fall out after using this rosemary and moringa hair butter it's also amazing for hair thickness if your hair is on a thin side you definitely want to consider incorporating this hair bottom into your hair care routine if your hair is moisturized it's going to reduce hair breakage in return length retention so if you want to see how i make this amazing hair butter grab a seat and let's get into it so the first ingredient i'm going to be using to make this amazing hair butter is shea butter so i purchased my shea butter from my local beauty supplies you can also purchase it from amazon so today's video i'm going to be using the yellow shea butter you can also use the white shea butter as well so if you don't have shea butter you can also use mango butter or avocado butter so just use whatever butter that you have and whatever butter that works best for your hair type so i went ahead and grabbed myself a bowl then i'm going to go ahead and add my shea butter into the bowl so the measurement depends on the amount of butter you're trying to make shea butter contains essential nutrients such as fatic acid which can help to treat scalp conditions and improve the overall health of your scalp in return it will strengthen your hair follicles reduce hair loss moisturize your hair like crazy and your hair will get thicker and fuller in no time the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is my favorite rosemary leaves so today's video i'm going to be using the dry rosemary leaves you can also use the fresh rosemary leaves as well I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of rosemary leaves. So rosemary is amazing for our natural hair. It's one of my favorite natural ingredients to use for hair growth. It helps to regrow your hair back extremely fast. It prevents hair loss. It boosts your hair growth like crazy and it's strengthening your hair shaft as well. Our next ingredient that I'm going to be adding is Moringa powder. So I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of Moringa powder. I purchased my Moringa powder from my local beauty supply. As I said before, you can also purchase all this ingredient from Amazon as well. Moringa helps to boost hair growth. It helps to strengthen your hair and it contains vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin B, as well as this moringa nourish your hair and scalp as well the next ingredient i'm going to be adding is my chosen oil i'm going to go ahead and add half cup of olive oil you can use any oil of your choice you can add avocado oil coconut oil grapeseed oil jojoba oil the choice is yours do what works best for your hair type Once I'm done adding all the ingredients, I went ahead and mixed everything together. So today's video, I'm going to be doing the double boiler method. I'm going to allow it to sit on the double boiler for about 30 minutes so guys if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel do consider subscribing to my channel in this channel i do diy videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up so this is how it looks after 30 minutes i'm going to allow it to cool down for a few minutes then I'm going to go ahead and strain it out. So guys, if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. After straining, this is how the oil looks like.
Now I'm going to go ahead and cover the bowl. Then I'm going to place the bowl in the freezer for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, this is how it looks like. I went ahead and transferred it to a mixing bowl. I'm going to be using my electric mixer to mix everything together. So if you don't have this electric mixer, what you can do is you can just go ahead and use your spoon to mix everything together. So make sure to mix the butter very well. Otherwise, the butter is going to go really hard in the next two days and you're not going to like it. So make sure you spend about five to 10 minutes mixing the butter in order to avoid the butter getting hard in the next two days now you can go ahead and add your essential oil if you're a big fan of essential oil in today's video i'm going to be adding peppermint essential oil and tea tree essential oil i personally love peppermint and tea tree essential oil because both smells amazing together so remember this part is optional if you don't want to add essential oil it's fine you don't have to add it the hair growth butter is powerful enough without adding essential oil okay just do what works best for you once i'm done mixing everything together this is how it looks like guys you guys need to definitely try this hair butter out it's super amazing very effective when it comes to hair growth rosemary and moringa are well known for boosting hair growth and um, growing your hair thicker and fuller those two ingredients are very powerful and very effective okay when it comes to hair growth you guys definitely need to try this out and it smells amazing as well this hair butter will moisturize your hair like crazy and it will help to boost hair growth as well. So there are different ways in which you can use this hair butter. The first way in which you can use this hair butter is to use it as a leave-in to seal in moisture to your hair. So if you have a protective style such as twist, locks, conroll, um, braid, box braid, you can also use this hair butter to seal in moisture to your hair. You can also use this amazing hair growth butter as a pre-shampoo treatment before your wash day. So what you need to do is apply the hair butter to your hair. Cover your hair with a shower cap for about 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, you can go ahead and proceed with your wash day. You can also use this hair butter as a deep conditioner. So what you need to do is shampoo your hair, then apply the hair butter to your entire hair as a deep conditioner. Allow it to sit in your hair for about 45 minutes, okay? After 45 minutes, you can go ahead and rinse it out. You can also use it as overnight treatment. You can apply it to your hair, cover your hair with a shower cap, then you can wash it out the next day. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys for the love and support on this channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys.